Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today is the very long awaited office tour. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know this was a journey. If you've been following us since we've had like 500 subscribers, you would have known that I mentioned wanting this office built. We wanted to do this back in like 2018 and it is finally complete in 2020 and I'm so excited. Yay. We're so excited to share it with you guys and here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so it is a double doored entrance. We have an owl that was gifted to us from our friends Bob and Jackie, and we just have the uh, clock up there. So let's uh, let's the start, clock, it, shall the we? The clock kind of has a Harry Potter vibe to it, with the clock on the tower, with the gears exposed mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So here we go. So we have the doors that open up like this. Larry put stoppers on this door because there are items behind here. So if you were to open it all the way and you weren't careful, it would hit those items. So there is a stopper on this door. But now I'm gonna show you guys what is behind this door. Now, I'm not gonna go into extreme detail on every item in this room. If we did that, we'd probably be here quite a while. So we're just gonna hop around. I'll show you guys a few things. And then if you guys want us to go into further detail about the items on the shelves, let me know in the comments below and we'll film that. And this is a lifelong accumulation of yes. <laughs> items from your favorite movie series. Yes, I should add that. So everything that you guys, good job, babe. Everything that you guys are going to see in this office, I have either obtained from childhood up until adulthood, up until now. There is a combination of Harry Potter in this room, Game of Thrones, Downton Abbey, The Crown, Disney, literally everything that we love should say I love more so but, but you love them too now yes it's probably about 98% Harry Potter yes now these items were gifted to me or we went out and purchased them ourselves over the years so I'm very thankful to have this collection and we're gonna share it with you guys now yay okay so this section over here we have Godric Gryffindor sword this is from the noble collections we've had this hung here this is also Noble Collection, and this is Lucius Malfoy's walking stick. Next, we have two Death Eater masks. The first one is going to be Lucius Malfoy, which is why his walking stick is right to there. And then, oh, and if you guys don't know, Lucius Malfoy's walking stick, if you pull the snake out, that's actually his wand. So it's kind of like a fun little thing. Here we have Bellatrix Lestrange's mask, her wand, and then the knife that she threw and killed Dobby with. Dagger. It's sad. So that is all right here in this corner. And then you can also kind of just tuck those dark arts away if you want to. So those are back there. Moving on to this area, which was really interesting to build. It's like a whole cabinet shift type thing. The sorting head up here is not complete. This is the only thing in the office that is not 100% complete. We're actually going to put him up higher and there's going to be lights back there, but we haven't got there yet. But we still wanted to do the office work because I know you guys are really excited for it. So sorting hat is up here. In here we have Dobby, which was one of a few. My mom found him over on eBay. He is the life-size Dobby. He was used for the promotion of the Chamber of Secrets film in the movie theaters. So that is where he is from. He actually has a plaque, which I have stored away at the moment, but he has a plaque that goes with him as well. He's so cute. I'm glad he has his own little happy space. Now we set Dobby up on here. There is a light inside that you can turn on and then he is surrounded by a Bradford Exchange village. Harry Potter inspired. This is not all of the pieces, but we have quite a few of them in here. Okay, so here is the entire shelf. This was the first thing that was built and I love white, which is why I went with the white look. I just think it looks crisp and clean and with Harry Potter and a lot of the items being a lot darker or vibrant in color, we thought white would go well with it. All right, so starting over here is kind of like Dumbledore's section. Larry purchased this for me and surprised me with it. This is a Star Ace Albus Dumbledore doll, collectible action figure. This is his knife that he cut his hand on. And this is Fox, which Larry just surprised me with that as well at Universal Studios. Up here, we have the Noble Collection Hogwarts. This was a gift in the P.O. box, which I put up here. It's a little crocheted Dobby with a sock because Dobby is free. And then, oh, he fell over. We also have Hermione's Time Turner. What did he fell over for? Watch. He didn't do it on purpose. 
Up here is a bunch of Honeydukes items. This is the book that came out. We have the glasses from Luna, and then we have a couple of candies. There's a few that are back way tucked in there, but this was kind of like the Honeydukes candy shelf. Up here is a couple of items. Then we have the crystal ball and a stuffed animal, a couple more stuffed animals, and then those mini, what were they called, hon? Funko Mini Mysteries, or Mystery Minis. That is exactly what they were called. Perfect. For here we have more of our darker items. We also have Horcruxes over here. So we have the Hufflepuff Cup. We have Rowena Ravenclaw's Lost Item. Um, we have the Sorting Hat. And Hermione's Time Turner again. We have the Dumbledore Army back there. We have Tom Marvoro Riddle's Ring. I probably said that incorrectly because I'm rushing. Sorcerer's Stone, Salazar Slytherin's Locket, Tom Riddle's Diary, and then another diary piece. Up here, we have a couple more Noble Collection items. We have coins. We have the Felix Felicity's Liquid Luck. We have a coin collection book. Up here, we have... This was actually from... Ooh, the bookstore. Books a Million. It's the pensive. Dumbledore's wand is not staying in there very nicely, so it's kind of like balancing there. And then up here... That piece is the Bradford Exchange. It's the train that goes around the snow globe of Hogwarts. This, I'm not sure where it was from. Don't remember. And then there's a couple pieces up there. So this part of the shelf is probably my favorite from here, plus these, these pieces. But from here up is my absolute favorite section of this shelf. So at the bottom, we have our larger books. As you can see, like, this is it for my larger book space. These are stunning, gorgeous books. They're the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, illustrated by Jim Kay. But they're like the deluxe versions, and they're gorgeous. We also have The Art of Harry Potter, Page to Screen, which is one of my favorite books. It tells you about the actors as well and actresses in the film. This is a Coca-Cola release, and then we have The World of Ice and Fire, and this is the Game of Thrones book. Okay, so over here we have the Tales of Beetle the Bard. Inside you have a velvet bag which has the Beetles of Bard in it and a few prints so that we have there. We then have the Architect of Hogwarts. And up here we have Dobby. We have another collection of books. The Snowman, which I just purchased over at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And then we have the illustration books over here. Now this is the same as this, but not the same. These are more deluxe, these are a lot more fancy, but these are still gorgeous as well. So I have years one, two, and three, and then my mom uh, surprised me with the third illustration book that was based out of the UK. So that is what this one is. Then we have year four, and we have a history of magic. And one of these is also UK based. I think it's this one? Yes, library, British library. These are the UK print books. So I have these, these are collector's books. This one was gorgeous. My mom found it on eBay. J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter, and the Philosopher's Stone. How pretty is it? And it's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, have that as well. This is probably my favorite book. Over here, we have the Philosopher's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. And this is the House Edition books that just came out. I don't have... The Prisoner of Azkaban. I believe those just released or they're about to release very soon. So here we have the house colored books. Once we get on to probably the Prisoner of Azkaban, I think I'm only going to collect the Gryffindor books. I'm not sure. Uh, but we have all of them so far in the Philosopher's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. Up here, my mom found this on eBay. This is Hagrid and Harry walking into Ollivander's for the first time. This is the Gringotts Bank, which to be, that's Noble Collection as well. We have the Golden Egg from the Triwizard Tournament, which is Noble Collection, and then two little mystery minis. We have the very creepy Tom Riddle Sr. gravestone up there. And then Professor Slughorn's Hourglass, and then we have the Hogwarts Express. These are all Noble Collection pieces except for this one. This one is, I don't remember what this one is. Also, oh, San Francisco Music Box Company. So that is what that is, and it does sing. I would imagine that Hagrid's Hut is probably also from the same music box company. Probably. That would make sense. Over here, 
this is just my one book collection that's in a cardboard box. I have collectible plates over here, which are the cats from Dolores Umbridge, which I need to hang up eventually. Another book collection. Uh, <laughs> we then have this advanced potions making book, which my mom also found on eBay for me. And it's really cool because we have this book as property of the Half-Blood Prince, and we have some doodles in here as well. And it's very kind of flimsy, and it looks like it was wet and destroyed because we all know that Jenny Weasley tried to destroy it in the girls' bathroom. So that is that. A um, couple more books over here, a PlayStation 2 game. Pens, we have Gryffindor, and I also have Slytherin. And then we have another book set. I just... You know, I kind of like the different looking book sets, which is why I got this one. I thought this one was really cool. And then we have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Fantastic Beasts. Um, this is a Steelbook Blu-ray or DVD set, babe. Blu-ray. I see it right there. Mm -hmm. The Ford Anglia. This is from Universal Studios. These are box sets. Honey Duke's candy box set. We have DVD year collection box sets. Is that what that would be called? We have year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. Frankenhead, Niffler. Um, that is a piece of the, oh, what is it called? It's from the film, uh, Devil Snare. That is a piece of the Devil Snare that was actually in the film, which my mom also found. So a lot of these items, whether they're the music box company or the piece from the film, a lot of these are found on eBay. However, you have to be very careful with shopping on eBay. Sometimes things can be not real. Um, but if you guys are looking for items like that or items that aren't really in stores anymore, eBay is the place to go. Wouldn't you say? I would say. These are also Department 56 items. They're cute little trinkets. They open up and you have little Hedwig's cage. Each of them has something different inside. Also another eBay item. This is another series of books. Oh, this is so cool. This is a Harry Potter hovering snitch. When I was doing YouTube videos in the very beginning stages, this was always in the background of my videos. Everybody loved it and asked where it was from. The so, Bradford Exchange. That's where it's from. And we have collector's watches. I think these are from the early 2000s. We have scabbers. Um, back there is a bookmark. This is my Harry Potter Wizards Unite trunk. And I'm very proud of this because this is the very first um, event that I was invited to through Warner Brothers. So I'm very proud of that little piece and that's why it is right there. Then we have a couple more book collections. We have the Deluminator, we have Crookshanks, we have another Dobby and Hermione. We have up there the Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix Thestral with Luna Lovegood. We have the Skelgro, which was a special edition, I believe, right, babe? From Japan. Japan. Universal. Okay, Japan. And then we have more of the little minis up top. Okay, over here we have the Noble Collection Wand Organizer, and then we have a selection of wands. Under here, which was Larry's idea, really, and the gentleman who built the office, they put something here for me because I thought it would be a really cool idea to have your wands here and then the wand book. That way people, if they wanted to know which wands were where, you could open this hardback covered wand book and open up to the page, which I didn't open up to a wand page. Um, here we go. So you would open up here and you find your wand and you can see who it belonged to and a little information about them. Over here we have a magazine collection. The first one is Down Abbey. We also have The Crown. This one was one of my favorites that I picked up. This is the Santa Claus Collector's Edition magazine. Got it this Christmas. And then a Harry Potter Collector's Edition, a Downton Abbey Life Special Edition, and then when Larry and... That is a loud car. When Larry and I first moved to Florida, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone came to Tampa in concert, so we got to see Harry Potter in concert. All right, moving over to the desk side. Here is the desk area. So I wanted this side to be more of a feminine space, more of a minimal, cute space, whereas that is like collector's items. This is office workspace, but still kind of Harry Potter, still kind of Disney, still kind of everything. So I went with a clean white desk, which was built. We did not buy it. It was built. Oh, the chair is from Office Depot. We went with a nude kind of color or a tan with gold trim. 
And then this was a gift in the P.O. box. It's Harry, it's a Harry Potter candle by Peter Alexander. And how cute is that? And it smells really good. I'm not going to burn it though because it's really pretty. We purchased a live bamboo plant. This is a little mum, which is real. This is just our internet box, which was thankfully just installed today because we're having internet problems in the house. Next we have my laptop. These are my two organizer planners. I have two. I was using this one and then our friend Peter sent this one and I love it. So I'm kind of going back and forth between the two. This little quill, but it's not really a quill. So you have a pen in here. I haven't used it. It's more so for looks. This is inspired from Downton Abbey. Then Larry gave me this. It's a card holder. He knows I love owls. Loves owls. He knows I love owls. Right, babe? And then we have the Universal Studios action there. And then up here we have a bunch of portraits. These really pretty ones were gifted by a subscriber named Halen. So Halen, if you're watching, thank you so much. I was so excited when I saw them to finally be able to put them on the wall. Yay! And these are just quotes from Harry Potter. Next we have the Quibbler. I was so excited about that one. Purchased it at Universal Studios. Also purchased these two at Universal Studios. And this is the one-way travel London to Hogwarts and then Hogwarts to London. And then this is my YouTube plaque that I'm extremely proud of that we received for reaching 100,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. <laughs> okay. Next, this is the last shelf that we're gonna go through. So this shelf, we decided at the last minute that we at needed to add another one because of Game of Thrones, Disney, a couple random items, Christmas related, Halloween related items that I didn't really wanna merge over there on the Harry Potter side. Here we have Downton Abbey, Game of Thrones, Beauty and the Beast, Alice in Wonderland, Complete Fairy Tales, which was also gifted to us in the P.O. Box, The Wind in the Willows, which my mom found for me on eBay. This is the book that J.K. Rowling's mother read to her, so my mom picked that up for me. Chilling Ghost Stories, Christmas Stories by Charles Dickens, another Christmas story book. Um, a really cute book that you got for me, right? It's a fairy tales book. It's adorable. Up here we have Little Women. The Nutcracker, another Alice in Wonderland. This is kind of like a dark Disney series. Oh, this book is gorgeous. It's, I think it's Alice in Wonderland. It's very old. It was my grandpa's. Um, Beauty and the Beast and then Hocus Pocus. And then a couple items here. Oh, a couple of Disney little minis again up here. And then a Hallmark keepsake. Ha! And then up here we have a whole nother shelf area. These are the collector magical creatures items from Noble Collection. I do not have the whole set, but I have quite a few. I have a few pot vinyls up there, but I don't collect all of them. I'm very specific in the ones that I like. So we have a few of those up there. Then the rock candy ones that we have up top. They are from Hot Topic. And then we have more Hallmark keepsakes, Hallmark, a Harry Potter limited edition Pez dispenser set that I believe is from the 2000s. And these are also from the early 2000s. Like those are collector's pieces. I forget who made them. Ugh, classic scenes collection. I really don't remember who made them. Mattel. What is it? Mattel. Mattel? Beautiful, okay. Um, these are from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And then these are the Harry Potter dolls that were released in Walmart earlier this year. Actually, it is 2020. Last year, 2019. Larry and I also filmed a little bit of night footage so you guys could see what this room looks like at night. There are remote controls in this room to control lighting, which we'll show you guys tonight. The top lights up, which you might be able to somewhat see in the video. The bottom lights up, and then a couple of these cubby holes light up. So we will be showing you guys night footage, which you're gonna see right after this. So this is what the office looks like at night. There is a rope light at the bottom under here, and then we have individual box lights in this section, and then there's also a rope light across the top. They do change colors, which we're gonna show you in just a minute. And then in here, which is where Dobby is, he has his own lit up section. And then the Bradford Exchange pieces also light up. So I'm gonna show you guys these lights turn on and off, so you go under here. 
and there's a switch. So you pop that off and then this is the Bradford Exchange Village all lit up. This is not all of the pieces, but this is a good portion of them. And for a lighting option with Dobby, we can oh. also do that. Mm -hmm. If we want to make him look like he's standing on some grass, we can go green or in the water with his friends, we can go blue. Yeah, Larry's like the pro at all the colors, so I'm going to have him show you guys all of this fancy stuff. He's teaching me as well. So, babe, we can change now the top row. We, If we didn't want it white, we could change it. Let's, uh, let's say we had a guest come over from Slytherin House. Yes. And we wanted to highlight the green. Peter, here's for you. The green. Oh, <gasps> In the bottom. Oh, my gosh. It's so cool. And then Gryffindor. It's so funny because on camera, there's like red here and then orange. The red that's on top on the camera here and on the wall is literally the whole thing. This lighter color is not <laughs> what it looks like in real life. It is straight red, but the camera's picking it up funny. And that looks like yellow down there. Yes, for... Hufflepuff. No, Gryffindor. Red. Oh, and gold? Okay. Yeah. Or we could do all yellow. It looks white on camera. Dang it. <laughs> but that is bright yellow. Blue for Ravenclaw. And there we have the blue. We have the blue. Again, not showing up correctly. It's showing up nicely on the shelves. Like that, you can tell it's a blue white. Mm. Then there's also like pink and purple lights to go with it as well. And then in here, Larry, do you want to show them? Yes. These can also change colors. I prefer all white lights. But Larry likes to change these different colors and it actually looks really cool what he's about to show you. Now I leave the train backlit with the white. Mm -hmm. And then Tom Riddle's father's tomb. I like to go, I'll change it to a kind of an eerie blue for the dragon. I like it. This camera, guys, is just not doing this justice. And then the golden egg we'll from leave, the Triwizard Tournament. We'll leave that one white. Perfect. So we can also change this, those middle sections. We don't have one for over here, uh, but maybe in the future we will. Now this up here that is lit up and is putting a reflection on there is also a Bradford Exchange piece, which you guys saw earlier. And then go ahead, babe. We've got a couple different lighting options for the office. The center light. And we could make that brighter. And he wants to film at night and the camera wants to get as much light as possible, we can turn, we have six canister lights. All right, guys, that was everything for the office tour video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being so patient with us. It's about time. <laughs> it's been a long ride, and I finally, Larry just hung these up for me yesterday, the picture frames above the office. Um, so I'm so excited to finally have it. I'm very thankful to have this office where I can edit my videos, go through emails, have like a space to work, which is really, really nice. So do you love it, babe? I do. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys again very soon. Bye. Bye. Over here in this shelf is more of our dark, dork, more of our dark items. We have Horcruxes, the Lib, Lib, the Magic, a Coca-Cola, blah, 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 blah. This ice, what is that called? <laughs> Over here, we have the UK illustration. No, so. <laughs> okay, all right. So this is the complete series and the illustration is by, I forget his name, Peter's gonna kill me. Um, Peter, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. It is from, what did I say? Hello. You're so pretty. Do you like your new office?